It's just a really big fork. There you go. hard day really hard day lots of stuff going on in this little family of mine so I didn't have the motivation to get my shipping done and then Goodwill was calling my name so what I did was said okay Danny if you get your shipping done you can go hit the Goodwill so guess what there is an hour and 20 minutes left to go hit the Goodwill which is what I'm gonna do as a reward for getting something done that I just had trouble getting motivated to do today. So, let's go and see what goodies the Goodwill has to hold. <laughs> oh, that was noisy. What I got right inside the door. Remember that glass I got the other day? Well, this bowl has the same fish. And so I'm suspecting it is the same company, which is Crate and Barrel. It's $3.99. Either way, it's super cute, and I am getting it. Oh, it's a puffer fish. What's inside the puffer? Oh, is he supposed to be? I'm not sure why he has stuff inside of him, but... I just like him because he's a puffer fish. I don't know what you do with him, but let's put the, yeah, let's put the puffer fish inside the fish bowl. Yeah. And then there's also a whale. I don't know what these things are. Now what does that say? Manufactured day 2017. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. So I'm gonna get it. This mermaid, same thing. I'm, suspecting these came from World Market where a lot of this stuff comes from. So I'm going to get the mermaid too. Let's see. Is that all of it? Oh, these guys aren't doing a whole lot for me, but I do like, I do like this bunny. Even though we're just about done with getting stuff for Easter selling. So I'll probably pass on him. So what do you guys think about the pig? He's pretty cute. He is marked. I can't read what it says right off the bat. I see an S. But for $3.99, he's, he's like a no-brainer for me. Okay, then I just bought this. This is ironwood. Ironwood does really well because you can't really harvest it anymore comes from Mexico. Oh, Josh, his shelf is just yielding all kinds of cool stuff. Look at him. It's a whale planter for $3.99. We'll get him. I oh, know, I see the raccoons. I do see the raccoons. They are awful cute. These might be vintage too. And I don't see any damage, so all right, we're gonna get the raccoons. And then I looked up and I saw that. Oh my, it's thirty dollars though. But that is cool. And there's a chicken. All right, we're gonna look at the shelf a little closer as soon as I put my raccoons away. Hey, there's a pair of glass candle holders here. I don't think they're old, but they are really pretty. And there is a pair, and they're $4.99 each, so I think I'll go ahead and pick those up. Getting that, I spotted this little guy, this little Adobe Pueblo. Ooh, it's signed on here. I think I'm going to go ahead and get that, because that, oh, it is missing, it's missing a cactus. I wonder if we could fix that. I wonder what would have gone through. Look at like, these little things are. There's a little jackrabbit. This one has. Ah. Uh, 
He's broken though. This kind of would have gone with it, but I think with that damage, I may regret it, but I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. It's a little bear. All right, we're only on to like the second shelf in and doing okay so far. Oh, some pretty coasters. Oh, it looks like they have them. They got this price separate from these. I don't like them that much. need unicorn napkin rings. Like honestly I don't think I've ever seen unicorn napkin rings so we will grab those. These are kind of interesting. Oh they're Melmac. They're kind of cute. Actually, I really like this there. Wonder Shop. And there's eight of them. I actually, I'm gonna get these for me. I don't know why I'm already thinking about decorating for Christmas, but <laughs> I do kind of like these guys. For $3.99. Yes, I'm gonna get the snowmen coasters. Birdhouse looks like somebody painted, but what I wanted to see was this jewelry box underneath that actually has a key, although it's not. There we go. This is vintage. Not normal to find them with a key. And for only five bucks, we're gonna get that. Then I looked up here and I spotted another one. Look at that one. That one's also vintage and that one's only $2.99. So I'm going to get that one. And I'm also going to take a peek. This one has camels on it. Oh wow. Look at that. Oh, it's got the key also. And it's carved all the way around. And it's only $6.99. So I'm going to get that one too. Boy, jewelry box day. And then that happened. This one, $9.99. Some pretty good shape. And there, it's just a really big fork. There you go. We don't need a really big pork bill. <laughs> the laundry room, loads of fun. That's really cute. It's only $5.99 at Ross though. Cardboard back though. Oh, it's plastic. Totally thought that was ceramic. That is pine wood. Interesting. I think it's missing a top to make it like not a pyramid. What am I trying to say? It's Egyptian, but it's not a pyramid. 
What's that other thing? The other big tall obelisk? Is it an obelisk? Yes. Ooh. You know, I like these shades. I will get those. Because there is a pair, I always buy them if there's two or more, because then you can actually get a decorator to do something with them. All right, I don't see anything else in the clear. I kind of like these. I don't know who makes them though. They are cool. Cobalt blue are cool too, but these look pretty modern. They feel modern too. Home water. That's what that is. These are cute too. Somebody had like a black and white theme. But there's only three. I just found a bunch of Homer Laughlin restaurant wear. There's four of these plates for three bucks on that one. And then there's, oh, restaurant wear is heavy though. And there's five of them for four dollars. You know what? I think I will pick those up. We've got this whole set down here of Sil Silverdale Noritake for $79.99. It looks, looks like that. Imperial Rose is actually... I wonder why they're calling it... Oh, because there's some mixtures in here. So there's also the Silverdale. There we go. So there's... Just one serving piece though. Didn't see anything else over here in the dishes. I couldn't live without. Now I'm gonna look over here in the rest of the glasses. There was somebody over here a minute ago. Look how cute these are. Man, those are those are cute. Why do I like those so much? And there are six of them. I, if they're all good, oh no, that one's got, that's got a boo-boo. Yeah, I don't need them. I don't need them. I don't need them. I'm telling myself, I don't need them. But there's a lot of this black stemmed. Somebody must have got rid of all of their black stemmed drinkware. There's a lot of it, but these caught my eye. don't know who makes these. I like them though. They're really, really nice. They're not, they're not fire and light quality. They're more 70s, I believe. I could even be fooled on that. They could be newer, but uh, they just have a really pretty color. I'm just going to leave that right there. Well, that's cute. I don't know who makes it, but it's a cute owl. These are Temptations with their little undercups. I don't know if the Temptations mugs So I actually, I'm gonna look those up. Unfortunately, they do not sell for very much. Oh, we have a very sad child in the background. But at least that keeps the uh, YouTube bots from hearing the music. <laughs> what is this? Is this? I like the color. I guess it's just a little heart garland. I don't know. I Is that weird that I really like that? Hmm. Okay, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I have to tell myself that a lot today, don't I? My cart is already filling up. 
Well, here's something interesting. This is a vintage Sears, but it does not seem like it's all, well, I might have spoke too soon. I see camels. I'm gonna reach down in there and see. Don't mind me, there's some lights, there's some camels. That's pretty much all that's included. And the creche, of course, but I can't find a price either. Oh, for $5.99? Gosh, I'm almost thinking the this part might be worth that. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out and see what's in here. Unfortunately, it was in really rough condition, so we have to leave that one behind and move along. Well, look at this little vintage coolness. There's a, there's a light down in there. That is a real conch shell. There's a plug, so you can see this is definitely vintage. They're asking $9.99. It's super heavy and bulky though. So I think I'm gonna leave that for somebody else. These are kind of interesting. Hmm. The price on each though at eight dollars. There's three of them, which would make them twenty-four. Yeah. So I found this crocheted. I thought it was a baby blanket, but it might just be a little lap quilt. But I just absolutely love the colors. And it's only, only, wait, there's a tag, $2.99, so I'm going to pick that up. So I always come back and check once more through the shelves just to give my eyes a new refresh. I did, oh, then see, look, there's more of my plates. Since I already got the other ones, I'm going to get these too. But I was looking at these. These are kind of cool. There's three of them. They would need a little, little cleaning up. Hmm, kind of a shipping nightmare though. Anything with a big long stem like that is going to be super hard to ship. I mean, it's doable, but I don't want to. <laughs> I can ship just about anything, but I don't want to. Little Pilgrim dolls. All right, so I just had to give that another look. I saw this. It's nothing. See anything I missed? I don't think so. Kind of a pretty ginger jar, but it's modern, very modern. I'm still kind of cracking up that that's on the shelf. <gasps> praying hands. Oh, behind the praying hands. Well, I thought it was a mud man, but it doesn't really look. He, he looks more like a frog man. That's what he looks like to me. Okay, I'm gonna scan through here one more time. What are those? Don't know. Not sure what that is. So, got a nice look to them, but they're a little worn. Oh, potpourri. They're potpourri. These would have had something standing on them. I don't, they're like pedestals. Kind of cool. Stuff just when you get it in your hands, it just feels super cheap. I am still kind of considering him because he is very cool. And last but not least, all the clear glass. Don't see anything 
And there's some pretty stuff. Like this says it is, oh, Malaris, Sweden. That says, hmm, that is kind of pretty. All right, I might get that one. But I don't see anything else. It's a kind of a moon and stars, but clear moon and stars is not not a hot seller. Don't see anything there. Don't see anything there. And I'm just gonna kind of shoot down the bags real quick. See if anything kind of just grabs me. Like the M&M? Oh, this is in really rough shape. I might have been tempted if that wasn't so chewed up. It's kind of cute. Who does that one? Mish. I know that's kind of shining on there. I can't see it. It says Mish. M-I-C-H-E. Of course, I have to look through the jewelry case here. See if there's anything we can't live without. I don't see anything. There's a bag of like shell jewelry over there. Not a bad price. I don't really need that though, so. Okay, I think we're gonna go check out. All right. I am taking load one out to the car and then I have to come back for load number two. Because I got two loads of stuff. But I spent $131. So as I said, I spent $131 there, but I bought, I bought the three sets of the Melmac Christmas plates for me. I bought the snowman coasters for me. <laughs> what else did I? How soon you forget what you buy, right? Got a little, got our little bougie hand sanitizer going here. Oh, that just like totally splashed on my glasses. Had I not been wearing glasses, that would be in my eyes and that would not be feeling good. Okay. So we are hand sanitizered up. Um, oh, that smells really good. <laughs> Sorry distracted um let's see those jewelry boxes those jewelry boxes were an awesome 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 find um they're all in really good shape well okay we'll have to see i dropped the one with the camels i didn't drop it on the ground i dropped it on the tailgate of the car and it knocked a little panel loose <sighs> always something right still we should be fine we should be fine but really, I spent about a hundred dollars, and you know, I'm, you'll see in the, or you have already seen in the recap, the amount of money that stuff is all valued at. Now, just got to get it sold. So with that, let's go get it sold. <laughs> go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification that will tell you each time I upload a new video and when I go live. All right, now I'll see you on the next one. This is just a little, quick little insert here. Those of you who follow me know that my daughter Jordan is an aspiring model, and it's hard to get into the modeling game when you're in your late 20s. And she got a tremendous opportunity to go to the Coco Rocha modeling camp. Um, now, we have a GoFundMe set up. It's down in the description. You guys have been so awesome. She's already been able to make her deposit, and she is booked. Now, we just got to get the rest of it paid for. So, every little bit counts, you guys. Five bucks. I mean, even if you could just do five bucks, all of that adds up really quick, and we can get her to modeling camp, and you guys can say you were part of it. Um, I'm a proud mama. This is not begging. I don't feel any less about you if you're not in a place where you can help out. But if you can, we super duper appreciate it. So, thank you. Links down in the description. 
and she'll be sending lots of cool pics from camp too that I'll get to use on my videos. All right. Thanks everyone.